Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy New Year's Eve. You guys, we have made it to the end of 2018. Can you believe this year is over? I know some of you are probably glad it's over, right? But anyway, my name is Panique Singleton from Build a Last and Legacy. Welcome to another episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. I'm here every Monday and Friday, 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can also catch the replays. You can catch the older episodes on my YouTube channel. I know some of you may or may not know I have a YouTube channel, but... If you don't want to go scrolling through Facebook, you can scroll through the YouTube channel and catch previous episodes. So anyway, good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Thank you all for jumping on this morning. Hey, Ian, good to see you this morning. Don Tressa, what's up? What's up? Thank you all for joining me. Man, 2018. I know some of you all are probably glad we're at the end of the year, right? Some of you guys may be like, man, this has just been a great year. So, you know, for some people, it was the best year they've ever had. Some people, it was the worst year. And for most of us, it was just somewhere in between. You know, there were ups and downs, highs and lows. You know, there was wins and losses, blessings and lessons, all kinds of different things. It was just a roller coaster. But regardless, we all have one thing in common. And that is, if you can hear me this morning, you have made it to the very last day of the year. So congratulations, right? Another thing we have in common is that after today, you will never get 2018 again, right? You you will never be able to do this year again. It'll be over. So whether it was good or bad, it's going to be in the past after today, right? So you can move on to bigger and better things. If it was an awesome and amazing year, you can make 2019 even better. If it wasn't the best year, you can make 2019 even better. So either way, you're winning right now, right? Um, I always say if you woke up, you're winning, and you woke up 365 days this year, so you're really winning right now, regardless of if there if there were some bad things in between, right? So great news is you made it, and we're on to bigger and better things. I heard somebody yesterday say, let's make 2019 so good. Let's make 2019 so good that 2018 is jealous of 2019, right? 2018 has nothing on what's about to happen in 2019, okay? So let's go ahead and, um, yes, Don Tressa, this year has gone by so fast, right? So fast. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I know you guys have things to do this morning. You might be going into work. You might be... um just getting ready to have an awesome and amazing day not at work i don't know what you're doing but i know you're ready to get to it right so what i want to talk about is you know i've talked to a few people that say you know my year wasn't as good as i wanted it to be you know i didn't accomplish this specific goal and the general consensus has been for a lot of people when they didn't accomplish a certain goal a lot of times it was because they were trying to do too much do you guys ever do that like i know that's happened to me before sometimes we just try to do too much because you know the the good news is like you're ambitious right you want to you want to be successful you're an ambitious person but the bad news is you're ambitious right because sometimes for for those of us who are very ambitious we want to do so many different things. We get so many ideas. We want to work on so many projects, so many businesses. We want to do, <laughs> talk as long as I want. You're off today. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm still going to keep it short though, but I appreciate you, Don Tressa. Um, but yeah, so like when you're super ambitious, it's like you want to do so many things, right? Because ambitious means having or, I, wrote, I looked up the definition, having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed so for those ambitious people we we get a lot of good ideas right and we think every single one of them is great and we want to do every single one right we want to work on all these projects we want to start these different businesses we want to do so many things that we try to split our time and so we work on so many things that we never become great at anything right we become good at a couple things but we're not great at anything because we're trying to do so much right and, and so for 2019, I really want you to focus on one thing, right? And I know some of y'all are like, oh, cancel that. But I'm serious. I really want you to focus on one thing because you can't give 100% to several different things, right? Like, for example, if I have an hour, I have 60 minutes to work on something. If I'm working on one thing, I can give 100% of that 60 minutes, right? I can spend the entire hour working on it. But if I have an hour and I'm working on four things, I can give 25% of that hour to each thing, right? I can only, you know, I can spend 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here, 25%. I can't give 100% of my time to four different things. It just can't happen. Or you can't give 100% of your effort, right? If you are trying to do four things simultaneously, something isn't going to go well. 
So I'm asking you to focus on one thing in 2019. I want you to pick that one thing that you really want to accomplish, whether that one project, that one business you're working on, that one goal, and I want you to work as hard as you can. I want you to devote 100% of your time to that. Now, when I say 100%, what I'm saying is, let me let me be clear, I'm not saying every waking moment you're working on that goal because let's say, for example, if it's a business you're working on, you also have to take care of the kids. You also have to go to work. You also have to clean the house, you know, cook food. I mean, you have other things to do, but what I'm saying is in those blocks of time that you have to work on something, work on that one thing right? Don't be working on starting three different businesses. Don't be working on six different projects. I want you to pick one thing that you really want to accomplish in 2019, and I want you to be focused on it. I want you to be focused on that one thing, right? And when you choose that one thing, I also don't want you to try to do everything that is involved in making that one thing happen. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is if you're starting a a t-shirt line, a clothing brand or something, I don't need you going out trying to learn how to print shirts, okay? You don't need to be going out trying to learn screen printing. You don't need to be going out trying to learn graphic design. You hire a graphic designer to design your shirts, right? You find a place that does screen printing. There are a lot of places that do it. You just focus on the business, right? You maybe focus on the marketing. You maybe focus on promoting it, but you can't do everything, right? Think about it. When you go to a restaurant, the person that seats you is not the same person that takes your order. The person that takes your order is not the same person that cooks the food. The person that cooks the food is not the same person behind the bar making the drinks. They have different people to do different things because if one person was trying to do those four different jobs, it wouldn't work. It would be too hard. It would be too much. So nothing would get done well because they're trying to do everything. So what I'm asking you to do is when you choose that one goal, outsource some of the things and some of y'all like well i don't have a big team i can't do all that but there's a lot of cost effective ways to get things done i'm not saying wait till you get a team that's not what i'm saying but something like somebody else designing your logos you can do that somebody else doing the printing you don't need to be trying to learn screen printing because that's going to take more of your time right so that's just for the example we use but whatever it is that you're working on pick that one thing and, and don't try to do everything to make it happen you focus i'm gonna focus on the marketing or whatever the case may be And I'm telling you, when you get really great at that one thing, when you become an expert at that one thing, then you can do something else. You can add something else to it. Because I know some of y'all are like, well, I've seen other people that have different, more than one business. Right. But I promise you, if you ask them, they built one first. Right. So I know for some of y'all, especially my network marketers, that's going to be hard. Because I know some of y'all network marketers, you know, you are in that health and wellness company. But you also in that company that does travel. And you also promote the company that sells the makeup. I get it. I understand. You're running around doing all these different companies. But my question is, how well are they all going? Right? How well are they all going? You know, you and you're paying all these different fees, these auto ships and membership fees. But what would happen if you focused on one thing? If you just promoted one thing? I'm just asking, right? Because you can't, a lot of times when you're trying to do different things like that, it just doesn't work because you're trying to build a team and sell products and promote three different companies. That's a lot. That's actually too much, right? Now, there's some things, don't get me wrong, you can do simultaneously, right? Like, there's some things you can do simultaneously. Let's just say you built up your t-shirt brand, your clothing line this year, right? But you're also, now you're getting into wholesaling houses or something. Cool, because you've already built the brand. You know, that t-shirt line is running on its own. You've got your, I mean, you know, you purchase ads and whatnot, but you've got your website up. So you can do that at the same time because your brand is your brand. That's what you're known for. But your main thing you're focusing on is the wholesaling, right? Or maybe, you you know, so a lot of people with a, a brand, clothing brand or something, they might do something else. Or there's other things that you can combine. Like I know plenty of people that have different things that they can do simultaneously. But what I'm asking you to do, because you said 2018 didn't go the way you wanted to. So what I'm asking you to do is pick one thing and focus on it. Can you Can you do that? Can somebody drop in the comments, what are you going to focus on in 2019? I know you have a lot of things you want to do. And I know you can do every single one of them because you're awesome, right? You're great. You're awesome. You're amazing. And you can do it eventually, right? It's, it's a, there's a way to do it. So I want you to focus on this one thing. Give it six months, eight months, 12 months. Give it 2019 and just see where you are at the end of the year if you focus, right? Focus stands for follow one course until successful. Focus doesn't stay do seven different things and see which one works. Focus doesn't say throw some things at the wall and see what sticks. Follow one course until successful, 
right? So I want you to, I really want you to win in 2019. So just try this out. Focus on one thing and give it all you got and just see where you are at the end of the year. I promise you, I promise you, you're going to get better results, right? Than trying to do 18 different things at one time. So look, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I hope this helps somebody because I get it. I've been there. Well, I have all these different things, you know, going on and nothing was really going well. So I had to eliminate some things. I eliminated a lot of things in 2019, right? And I mean, in 2018, I'm already in 2019. I'm tripping. In 2018, I, did, I eliminated a lot of different things and I had a better year, right? So let's focus. So what are you going to focus on in 2019? So if you enjoyed this message, make sure you like, comment, and share. Somebody else needs to hear this. Somebody else, they've been out there going hard. They've been hustling. They've been working. They've been doing all these things and they don't understand why nothing has worked because they didn't realize they just needed to take a moment and focus. So all I'm asking you to do is pick one thing. Well, that's two, right? Because I got both hands. But that's pick one thing, right? So in 2019, and I want you to really get it. I want you to really go for it. I want you to put 100% of your effort in. Give it all you got to make this thing work, right? Do whatever is necessary, right? When, W-I-N, whatever is necessary to make it work. Now, don't be doing nothing illegal, okay? Don't be doing nothing crazy. But you know what I'm saying. I want you to go hard. I want you to give it everything you have. So I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Those of you all who are off work, enjoy your day. Those of you guys that are going to work, enjoy your day, right? Be thankful that you have a job to go to today, right? Don't be hating on your friends that's off work, you know? Um, go on, go to work, get your day going, bring in the new year the right way, whatever you're doing tonight. Be safe, y'all. This is one of the days where there's the most accidents and fatalities because people out here driving reckless, driving drunk tonight. So if you're going to be on the road tonight, please be careful because I want to see you on the other side i want to see you in 2019 so you can focus on that one thing all right so um yes don Tressa says she is focusing on self building in 2019 all right all right so i know she is already writing down her goals i know she might have a vision board um and so she's out there she's ready right she is ready to get it she has a goal she has one thing and she she's about to kill 2019 what is what is everybody else doing y'all go ahead and drop your comments you know i'll come back and, and respond so i appreciate y'all i love y'all i just love when you guys hang out with me in the mornings i look forward to this every monday and friday and we're gonna keep it going through 2019 all right so again my name is panique um like comment and share the video tag a friend and i'm out y'all have an awesome and amazing day be safe but right now y'all already know what i'm gonna say right Right now, what I want you to do is get off of Facebook and I want you to get out there and be great on purpose today because I know you can do it. I believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself and make the choice to be great. So I want each and every one of you to choose greatness today, every single day going forward. Focus on that one thing and absolutely kill it. All right? I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a great day.